Hello there, and welcome to the Pokemon Trading Card Game, as voted by the Patreon. Joining me is my good friend Andrew. Hello. Hello, everyone. I'm looking forward to joining you for this fun Let's Play. Thank you. So yeah, I've not really played the Trading Card Game. I've played most of the main series games, and um, but I, I collected cards as a kid, but I never really played the card game. I just had them, you know, like you, like you do. Um, so, what is your name? I guess I'll be... Oh, there's only six characters. I was <laughs> Telephone! To, I was trying to combine our names, trying to work out... Oh. I, was, I was gonna... <laughs> Tandrew's too much. T. Ew. No. T. Ew. T. Ew. Q. It's Q. It's crazy about Pokemon and Pokemon card collecting. One day... Q. Heard a rumor. <laughs> I love the legendary it. Pokemon cards, the extremely rare and powerful cards held by Pokemon Trading Card Games' greatest players, no less, by the way. The Grand Masters are searching for one to inherit the legend. <laughs> Dreaming of inheriting the legendary Pokemon cards, Choo! Uh, visits the Pokemon um, card researcher, Dr. Mason. Wait, that's not a. It's not a tree. Mason's not a tree, is it? Or is it? I don't believe so. I don't think that the card game follows the. Oh, the usual okay. shtick. I see. Oh, why the rush? I, I mean, I need a Pikachu just so I can call it Pikachu. <laughs> you want to learn how to play the Pokemon trading card game? You know I do. So you two finally want to start playing the card game. Well, dueling is more fun than just collecting cards. First, you should try playing the practice deck. It will give you this deck and you, you now you need an opponent. Hey, Sham, play with him for a while. All right, then, let's play. Hello. Choo. Let's give it a try. So yeah, I don't really know the rules of the trading card game per se. It's it's gonna be something we learn together, or you teach me, and and the. Uh, <laughs> I do have the a lot of experience me. with the Pokemon trading card game in its earlier days. I I was a big fan of not just collecting but also playing back around the first three four sets, and still own the first three sets, the original or like the base jungle and fossil sets mm. uh it was such a fun game now these days it just gets out of hand there's a new set like every couple months it's impossible to keep up with but i am enjoying this i'm going to uh you know do my best to help you through it excellent and colorless okay interesting what well, does a colorless energy uh type of energy requires depends on the pokemon be sure to learn which pokemon required types of energy excellent uh, attacking and retreating a bomb Pokemon, using Pokemon power, ending your turn when loss of a jewel. You know what? I'm just gonna play and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> you have me! You don't yes, need exactly. to act silly exactly. computer. Yes, exactly! I don't- yeah, right, I don't need computers. I have the Grand Master himself, so the collector <laughs> of all things I've gaming. This game, but I've beaten the Japanese exclusive second one, so yes, Grand Master, hello. Yeah, <laughs> right? There you go. They say, actually speak louder than words. Let's play a game since this is your first time. Just try to learn the basic steps. We'll do. I'll be coaching you, so follow my advice. If you don't do as I say, we won't be able to proceed. Okay then. Um, let's go. Right, I definitely have one of those. I definitely have an instruction book, so I definitely have this game for real. <laughs> Playing this on a real Game Boy, Teal and mm -hmm. I are just in the same room, both huddle yeah. around the same small screen. Absolutely, definitely. <sighs> Since this is just practice, do not shuffle the deck. Okay, each player will draw seven cards. Oh, yeah. Right. So the first uh, match in this game is basically like, it's pre-arranged for you, so Fair everything yeah. is will, like a tutorial. I will understand how it works. Choose a basic pair one to place in the arena. Uh, draw seven cards. Okay, so I have these these seven cards. I'm seeing five currently. Uh, get ready for the battle! You can now only choose basic Pokemon as your active Pokemon. So... What what is what is what constitutes a basic? Oh, so the Sea King requires like a sacrifice or something. No, so basic Pokemon. It's a really compl complicated way of saying first stage of a Pokemon. So like, you know, oh. before they evolve. Oh, and okay, then Sea King right. can only be played on top of Goldeen after it's been in play for a turn. Oh, that's cool. I quite like that. Okay, so put your Pokemon on the bench. Okay, you can switch bench Pokemon with your active Pokemon. Okay. Only basic Pokemon can be placed on your bench. Choose Staryu from your hand and put it there. Can do. And I'm guessing for the sake of this battle, I probably also have like a, a Starmie somewhere. Um, cool. Alright then. So choose my bench Pokemon. So once you don't have any more uh, basic Pokemon as indicated by that yeah. green diamond, you can just press the B button cool. and right, the rest of the setup process will unfold. 
These place two prizes. A coin toss will be decided who plays first. Heads teal plays first. Choo! Sorry. <laughs> hey look, it's Pikachu! <laughs> As, as as prophesized. You play first, excellent. As prophesized. Draw one card. You drew water, excellent, which means I can attack, presumably, because my Pokemon are water. Is I'm assuming that's how this sort of works. You use up an energy card to power yourself up to attack. So the key thing is, is that attacking does not use up an energy card. In most cases, there are some times when attacking will have a condition, like you must discard an energy card in order to use it. But in most cases, you just apply them to the Pokemon and then they are there from then on. The key is that you can only apply one energy per turn to any Pokemon. So like, you can only play one energy card per turn unless, mm -hmm. again, there's a condition that allows you to do otherwise. I see. And it goes towards the Pokemon itself, not like the field. Correct. Yeah, okay, gotcha. So you need to strategically decide where you want that one energy card per turn to go. I see. It doesn't I have see. to be the Pokemon that's currently battling. And do I have an energy card on Goldeen right now, or no? No. No, okay, so I need, to, I need to go to my hand and put one on. Correct. Okay, I gotcha. I'm understanding the rules. Okay, I see, yes, yes. So those right, circles yeah, represent okay. uh, your HP, each mm -hmm. one being 10 HP, and attacks in this game all do multiples of 10 damage. I see. So, yeah. Aha! I've destroyed my chop! Or at least part, partly. Nice. You're gonna draw a card. You can evolve it. No, that would actually be amazing. It's just like, right, uh, right, Machoke, let's go. <laughs> Machamp, next turn, let's go. <laughs> let's just uh, destroy you. So far this isn't going particularly well because your cards are way more powerful than mine. But I have a feeling I know where this is going. Let's evolve it. Sweet. I can do that. HP increases from 40 to 70. Nice. Seeking doesn't have enough energy to use Waterfall. You need to attach a Psychic Energy. Okay, I see. I gotcha. I will slowly but surely start to understand how this works. It's not no, overly complicated, but it definitely can get pretty intense later Yeah, on. I can see why. Wow, that's level 28. Okay, <laughs> not bad. And then... Oh, and I can also do it... So... Oh, so you can have multiple energies. Ah, oh, okay. So because the attack requires, I think, one water and one star energy, you could have played a second water energy if it let you, and that would account for the star as well. But mm -hmm. that just basically means wild card, so anything can count right. towards it. And it's interesting that you can do all this at the same time. Like You can evolve, you can put an energy and attack on the same turn. Like That's quite a lot that you could do in a given turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is an adorable image. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, so... They actually did a fairly decent job for what they had to recreate the original hmm. card's graphics on yeah. the small Game Boy screen. I mean, when was this game released? Yeah, like was... mid-90s? Yeah, that was pretty good. Mid to late 90s. Okay, attach a water energy card to bench that. Oh, okay, so you can attach to benched stuff as well. Ah. Right, so there's that kind of strategy as well. You can apply to future Pokemon before it's even begun, and presumably you can also put something on a bench whilst you're yeah, the Pokemon so is attacking. That's it. The bench is very important. If your active Pokemon gets knocked out and there are no other Pokemon on the bench, you lose. Um, right, okay. So you constantly need to be juggling your active Pokemon, the one that's currently attacking, with preparing Pokemon on the bench to come in afterwards, and you can even retreat Pokemon's about to faint and you don't want them to, uh, to bring in Pokemon from the bench. Right, I see. And with bench Pokemon, can you put as many on the bench per turn, or is it just... Yeah, you can yeah. place as many as you want per turn, but you can only have up to five. So basically what they're trying to replicate is with your one active Pokemon and five bench Pokemon, it's like your team of six, basically. Yeah. Okay, interesting. And can you have more than six Pokemon in your deck? Yes. So okay. basically, what you're going to notice, and when we actually get a deck that we can modify and mess around with, is that you want to probably have three or four of a certain basic Pokemon. So say you want to have, th uh, you know, four Goldeens in your deck, and then maybe three Seekings, mm. so that, you know, you can get things going. Uh, but yeah, there's no limit to the number of 
actually, I should say, you can only have max of four of a certain card in your deck. That's like the one rule. Un ex well, with the exception of energy cards, because you obviously need right, a lot yeah, of those to say, that, seems, that seems very cruel for energies. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that, that's like the one exception. But when it comes to trainer cards, Pokemon, uh, and such, you can only have, up, have uh, up to four of I a see. certain card in your deck. That's cool. And... Um, with, uh, like, energies, can you only put one of each type of energy on the Pokemon? So, like, I couldn't double my power by putting two water energies. Yeah, so... Well, there are attacks where it will say this attack does 10 damage times the number of water energies attached to it. Like, I think Poliwag is a Pokemon like that. Uh, but in this case, if there's no condition that states that, then putting more energy than necessary does not change anything. Mm. Oh, wait. Wait, I... Okay, that was weird. Um... Okay, put that on Drowsy. I didn't realize Drowsy was a water type. I mean, it isn't. Uh, it? <laughs> this seems to be a deck, a uh, psychic water combination deck, okay. which you will usually run more than one type per deck. Usually mm. two, three if you're stretching it, but I find that two works really well. Fair enough. Well, I have a feeling my, uh, my Seeking is about to go. <laughs> yep, sure is. It tried its best. It did. It did well. Okay, choose a bench Pokemon to replace a knocked out Pokemon. Can do. You now have Drowsy and Staryu on the bench. So choose Staryu. Okay. Press select to check Pokemon data. Okay. Good to know. Alright, so Staryu, come on out. Okay. Oh, and you can... Oh, right, and you've got potions as well. That's good. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I so do remember. Trainer cards are really useful. They can do things like heal your Pokemon, remove energies from the opponent's Pokemon, search your deck for certain types of cards. Uh, they really play into it as well, you know, the hmm. strategy when you're building your deck. I remember... Um, I remember there being a... Uh, oh. I thought I had a water... Oh, okay. Um, uh, yeah, I, I remember there being like a, a card where you can like... Like replace your entire hand and stuff, um, uh, or like something to that effect. Um, yes. So there's Professor Oak, which allows you to discard your entire hand and pick up seven new cards. And there's also Imposter Professor Oak, which forces your opponent to discard their hand uh -huh. and pick up seven new cards. Another popular card is Bill, which you play and it allows you to pick up two cards from your deck, which is. It's it's a good card in the way, but it's also kind of silly. But say you pick up Bill at the beginning of your turn, then you play it and you pick up two new cards. Well, you're technically only one card ahead after that, but uh, it still feels good, so <laughs> everyone right. uses it. Um, and it, a key thing is that if you ever cannot draw a card from your deck, you lose the game. So say like your your, right. your deck gets down to zero, and yes. then your turn starts, and then you lose. That's the so same as you get. Yeah, so it can, it can become a, a game sometimes where. You know, if you're very evenly matched with your opponent, who runs out of cards first? Mm. Every deck is required to have 60 cards, so it's not like one person can just load up with like 500 cards. Right, sorry, I made a mistake. I had to attach another water. My bad. I I keep missing like a crucial step, clearly. <laughs> like every time. <laughs> it's like, it's said to add, like, oh. add a thing. But. You just keep putting water energies on, yeah, even though it only Yeah, I, one. I was going to say, that's the thing, I don't really, I didn't think I needed to put another one on. Like, technically don't, but it's telling me I can, I guess. Hopefully things are starting to make a little bit of sense now. Yes! You're starting to see yes, just how complicated it is. There is a, there is a lot going on here. I can see why people wanted me to play this, because there is a lot of strategy here. Um, I had the benefit of, for many years, before I even got this game, you know, going to, uh, card shops and stuff and playing it with friends, but uh, it's really interesting. This is your first real experience playing the game, and it's on the Game mm. Boy version. Yeah. Take your Pokemon with the opponent with Star Freeze. Can do. I, I can and will do that. Uh, let's play you. And Star Freeze. What's the two stars? So that means one water energy, and then two of any other energy required. Oh, okay. So since you have three, yeah. in total you're good. 
Right, I see. I see, I see. Oh, interesting. Oh, so there could be little side effects sometimes. Interesting. So when you attacked above the 20 that it said uh, of, uh, you know, it said it was going to do 20 damage, there was a little asterisk above that. Mm. That means that there's a condition to go along with that attack. Pretty good. Uh, and if you had read it, it would have said you get to flip a coin and the head's yeah. uh, opponent's paralyzed. Yeah, it's paralyzed. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can, I can get behind this. So you have four different effects. Poison, paralysis, sleep. Uh, and confusion, each which have different effects. And usually, the like par paralysis, for example, at the end of the turn, they're no longer paralyzed. Uh, sleep, for example, in between their turns and your turn, they get to flip a coin and if heads they wake up. Uh, poison, every between uh, your turn and their turn, the poison Pokemon takes 10 damage. Ooh, that's uh, good. Yeah, so there's different things like that. Yeah, that's cool. All right, then. Decision! I've won the Duel of Sam! Yes! It's been smacked <laughs> in the face with like a big lose! <laughs> Alright, this is how Pokemon Base. Playing Card game is played. It's a game in which you try to knock out as many of your opponent's Pokemon as there are prizes. That's the gist of it, and I think Andrew explained it better than you, game, but I appreciate <laughs> what you did. Uh, if you don't understand something, talk to Sam, it might be helpful. I'll talk to Andrew, thank you. Practice again too, this time was just practice, so I had you follow everything I said, but there are other styles of play, so try them out by choosing normal jewels. Sweet. And now I get to choose a deck, presumably. Mm -hmm. Let's build your deck! Did you bring your cards? Choo! Handed the cards. Let me add some of my own, let's see. What kind of deck do you want? Let's see what we have, please select the deck you want. Charmander and friends, Squirrel and friends, Bulbasaur and friends. Um, so I know the one I want, which, which do you typically play with? I've always taken Charmander and Friends. That is the one I was uh, going to pick. Um, then there we go. Yeah, I, uh, I, I will confess that I, when looking up, uh, like for the Patreon votes, what I usually do is I watch trailers. Um, to like react to what the game's going to be before people vote. So if they want to see what type of games are on offer, um, they can see me react to it and also see what the game is like. Um, and with certain games like this, it's not really easy to find a trailer, so I find a long play or a video without commentary. Um, and because I've seen a long play of this, I've been uh, and I've and it gets like show like someone chooses to uh, like put it forward as a vote uh, each time. Um, I've seen this long play many times, uh, and therefore, uh, I keep getting recommended Pokemon Trading Card Game videos. <laughs> uh, one of which was a speedrun. I did not watch the speedrun, but I did skip forward to here to see which deck they picked, and I thought, ah, let's give myself an advantage. They choose Charmander. <laughs> so... Speedrun uh, in this game would be very fascinating. The uh, goal, of course, is though, after we beat uh, more people, we will get booster packs, which will have mm. better cards, which we can use to improve our deck. So yeah. it will probably look a little bit different by the end of the game. Oh, anyway. yeah, absolutely. But I just figured I should give myself a little bit of an early advantage. <laughs> See what's going to be easier for me to work with. <laughs> I mean, of course. So there are many people playing at the clubs. Collect new cards and try building a new deck. Can do. Let's go and, and start, our, start our journey. And we've got the fighting club, the lightning club, the rock club, the uh, house. The Challenge Hall, the Pokemon Dome, which sounds epic, the Psychic Club, the Fire Club, the... I thought we could go into the Volcano, the Science Club, the, that doesn't sound like a Pokemon type I know of, the Grass Club, and the Water Club. Sweet, so I presume we need so to win So it's really Mega Man-esque, actually, where we have eight uh, clubs that we need to beat, and you can do them in any order that you want. Of course, since you took the Fire Deck, Grass is, you know, the ideal start point, Yes, but... I'm not going to guide you too much I through see. like so, how you play the game. If uh, I beat Grass Club by any chance, do I get some grass type Pokemon and stuff as a result? No, so the type of club you beat doesn't determine the kind of cards that you get, but there are different uh, you know, sets of cards. So like uh, okay. I think there's five main pack types of pack that you can get, and each pack has only a certain subset of cards that you can get from that pack. And you can get those different packs pretty much anywhere. So by beating the Grass Club doesn't give you a certain type of card, right. per se. And are there actual type advantages? So if I use Fire against Grass, do I get a, an advantage out of that or no? Absolutely. Okay. Let's try Grass so, then. You know, <laughs> yeah. Water is weak to electric and such. Yeah. So Fair yeah, definitely something to keep in mind. And hey, it's Ronald. 
Oh man, Mr. McDonald. Well, getting the grass medal <laughs> wasn't that hard. If I keep this up, I should be able to get the legendary Pokemon cards. He's my rival, isn't it? It isn't. It isn't, is. isn't he? Uh, what? It's you! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, that's a deck! Are you trying to get the legendary Pokemon? <gasps> yes. <gasps> What? <laughs> I can't option. believe it. <laughs> you, you, the legend, you, you're made out of legendary Pokemon cards. No, wait, you're going for legendary Pokemon. Ha <laughs> Okay. All right, let's listen up. I'll teach you what it's about to inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. You must defeat the eight club masters and get the eight medals. And you have to go to Pokemon Dome and defeat all four of the grand masters. There! There's no way you can do it. You might as well just give up and go home, because the legendary Pokemon cards are gonna be mine. I already won the first medal. See ya, you. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know how seriously you're taking things. There will be some times where you're forced into a battle with him, and then winning it will get you a card that you pretty Excellent. much can't get anywhere else. I will try uh, my So best it's important to, to save, I guess, at yeah. certain points, if you want to, you know, try and oh. cheese that in case Fair you enough. lose. <laughs> You mentioned the music's really good. I agree. I'm liking it so far. It's pretty nice. I think the battle music is a is a favorite of many mm. people in particular. Master Nikki is out right now. Where'd she go? Well, that's a secret. Let me see. If you defeat three members of the Grass Club, I'll tell you where she is. So how about it? All right. I will duel Heather. It turns out she's behind a tree just to the left of you. Okay. Our full prize is okay. Uh, sure. All right then. Kaleidos. Did I say kaleidoscope deck? I think so. Okay. That's an interesting deck. It's gonna be very interesting. There are no basic Pokemon. Uh, that's concerning. <laughs> so the 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 basic Bill. penalty for that is that if you draw seven cards and you don't have a basic Pokemon, you you're supposed to show them to your opponent so they guess you know they get an idea of what's in your deck, and then you just reshuffle and draw oh, again without really any other kinds of penalty. But since it's a it's a game, it doesn't really matter. Oh, that's quite a clever idea. So you can't truly like suffer on that in that basis. Um, there are some people who will do something like just put one extremely strong Pokemon in their deck, and then that's it. So they just have to keep drawing. I think there these days there might actually be more of a penalty for not having a basic Pokemon on your initial draw, but I wouldn't right. be, uh, you know, too knowledgeable in that category. Okay. I'm definitely knowledgeable in the old style though. So I'm happy so, that's what we have here. I would love a new game, a new Pokemon trading card game, video game. Mm. Switch one of your bench Pokemon with your active Pokemon, right? That doesn't help. Um, so I'm kind of I'm kind of in danger right now because I've only got one Pokemon. <laughs> but we'll see how this goes. I guess I'm going first. Okay, let's we draw a card. Let's see if it's good. Okay, we go. got another card. Okay, cool. That's good. That's good. Okay, so fortunately though, I think Diglett wants. Fighting energy, or yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, what kind of deck is this? Uh, you have I should, electric, I should fire, switch. lightning. I should switch so I can have Magnemite out. Um, you switch. Yes, I'm being mildly strategic. Yes, and you want a lightning energy. Um, because I can then attack with that. Sweet. And I will not do self destruct. That sounds like a terrible. Like, what is that Eevee <laughs> face? Oh my god. <laughs> what? Why does it have like a daisy petal around its neck? It's it's majestic. I love it. <laughs> oh, sadness. Well, still does damage, so that's good. All right, this is cool. I can get behind this. Mhm. Mm Draw one card. Let's see what you can do. Yeah, that's fair enough. Oh well, I forgot how bad this deck is when you first start out. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair enough. We'll we'll get better. Oh, thank god. Okay, good start, good start. Tailwag was unsuccessful. Nice. Uh, we have drawn a plus power. I do not know what that does. Let's find out. So what you do, yeah, you can check it, and it gives you a description yeah. of what it does. Plus power to your active Pokemon. At the end of your turn, discard plus power. If this Pokemon's attack does damage to any active Pokemon after applying weakness and resistance, the attack does 10 more damage. Um, okay, I see. That's good. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to bring out... Actually, is that a good idea? No, yeah, it is not. Because I don't have <laughs> what I need. Yes, that is a fair point. I didn't know straight away, but yes. Did you say that the star means any? Yes. Okay. 
So you would have to have two thunder energies plus at least one of any other kind, which could be thunder. It doesn't have to be, though. The so something okay. you would need to think about right now is if you think you're going to get a thunder energy next turn, you could play the fire energy on Magnemite. And then when you get the thunder energy next turn, evolve it and you'd have all the uh, energy required. Oh, the energies attacking. carry over, right, right. But the problem is, what if you get a fire Pokemon that you'd, you know, rather place it on and then it's kind of stuck? The, on the one Magnemite. at the top uh, uh, of, of her cards, does that imply she's got one in the uh, bench? No, that implies that Eevee is just a colorless type Pokemon. Because what you need to think is that when you're talking about weaknesses and resistance, it's not traditionally what the kind of, you know, what kind of Pokemon it is. So you can't just say, you know, Magnemite is electric type, so it's going to have all this. Uh, it's what the type of the card is. Because uh, the, the thing get. the thing I, I didn't see if she put another Pokemon in the bench. And if she So you can go to... You can go to the check button there. Uh huh. In opponent's play area. In play. In play area. Let's okay. go back. In play area. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, so she and does now you have can another. Go up and examine. Yeah. Right, so you okay. can. You really right, have okay. a good ability okay, to see, see what's going on. You can right. even uh, check their discard pile. I think. Okay. I, I, I was gonna say, if she doesn't have another Pokemon, I could just self-destruct and I'd win because I have another in the bench. <laughs> but <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Because <laughs> you're good thinking. Good that thinking. won't work. So, well, since I'm obviously gonna, oh, no, but I, well, I might need a fire for Charmander. Oh no, I'll just, I'll just do, I'll just do it. Hopefully, you can paralyze it. And that'd yeah, be that'd be good. I was just trying to, like, I'm trying to work out what I have on offer, like what what limitations I have, and like and if I can be strategic and just end this as quickly as possible, <laughs> but sadly I cannot, um, which is it's fair unfortunate. enough. It's unfortunate that we couldn't use Diglett because I think that uh, EV is weak to fighting types. Usually right. star types are weak to fighting, and mm. unless it's uh, a flying type. Like, flying types, there's no flying type energy or flying type Pokemon, so they would also be star type, but in their case, they'd be weak to lightning, I believe. May as well draw two cards, can't hurt. I use Pot of Greed. Ooh, <laughs> See, there's and that build. You got Doug Trio. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. The, um, the problem is though, you have three types in this deck, which I think is too many. Uh, like, yeah. it's really hard to get the energies that you want when they're spread between three different types. So yeah. all these fighting Pokemon are completely useless right now. Yeah, exactly. Which is a shame. Um. Because yeah, I can't like his its moves are very, very expensive in terms mm -hmm. of stuff but that's that's fine we'll work it out um i guess i'll just attack again with any luck <laughs> i'll i mean it's i might paralyze it again i won't but that's fine still does damage as it stands i'm winning so that's all that matters right now like evolve flareon oh i oh god i was joking and then it happened I, <laughs> wait but it's got a grass energy so that's good that's is that gonna help it oh rage oh never mind that is gonna help it um, that is bad. Okay. <laughs> that is bad. Cool. Good stuff. I sure I enjoyed mean, with, that. Yeah. With this okay. crappy deck, there's not Ponytail. too much more you could have really done. Ponytail is my best bet because I've got fire energy, so... Unfortunately, you need two energies to attack with Ponytail. Ooh, whoa. That is less good, but this is better. Cause... Because... Yes. Yeah, I would start powering up Growlithe because... Yeah. Ponyta is going to get knocked out this turn anyway. Cool. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Yeah, it sure is. Okay, so if I fire energy Growlithe. Okay. Okay, I gotcha. You just have to cross your fingers that next turn you get another energy to place on it. Hey, let me not... not Really? I can't do it any... Ah, oh, no way. Uh, I guess done. Is that it? Uh, they, that's it. Cool. I'm, I'm done for now. I hope you have a wonderful turn, Heather. Killing my, my oh dear! I, <laughs> yes, this is gonna hurt. Hooray! I'm dead. Okay, let's see what I get. It better be really good. It won't. Um, Growlithe, I guess. So now you out. have to make the debate. Uh, how many uh, Pokemon have they defeated of yours? Two. So you could have put Diglett out. Yeah. To give us like a turn. meat shield, so you could continue powering it's up Growlithe. It's all good. <laughs> okay. So, it's all good. Let's see what we got. So, 
Okay. And what attacks does Growlithe have before you use them? Yeah, I know. Flare so before you enough. use Flare, you can use plus power yeah, to do 30 damage about instead that. of 20, yeah. But also, what does Arcanine have for the future? Flamethrower, take down, cool. Yes, I will use plus power. Because I will lose <laughs> Get out otherwise. of here, Flareon. Yeah, you need to die now. <laughs> it's the only way. Very Good. nice. And Venonat's going to be absolutely annihilated. Yes. Uh, I'll take that. Sweet. Oh. Oh, I mean, it's, it's all right. It's about that. Okay, cool. An, an, an energy would have been much preferred so you could evolve. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. But you're going to kill no, Venonat. Anyway, not another EV! <laughs> no! Oh. <laughs> this is sad. Why are you doing this to me? I was, please beat Tails. Oh, thank you. Yes, <laughs> okay. Luck is great. Okay. So, what do we get? Okay, lightning energy. So, mm -hmm. I'm going to put you on the bench, because it would be silly not to. And then, what does Arcanine's abilities have? I can you use flamethrower. I can use flamethrower. Uh, use flamethrower. <laughs> Dude, I can use flamethrower. <laughs> You're so screwed. <laughs> 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 I love Look at how are. powerful my HP is! You're yeah, so evolving. screwed! Evolving is essential, for sure. Alright, I have to- oh, I guess I have to discard one. Well, that's- that's less good, but you know what? Needs must. It's been a pleasure knowing you, Eevee. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, one thing I was going to point out is that when you're looking at what a card can do, it's important to press the A button so that you scroll through the actual yes. attack and see if there's any conditions. Let's go with that one. Perfect! <laughs> Excellent. Looking forward to this. Venonat is also screwed. Yeah, yep, yep, that's not good for you. <laughs> I drew another Growlithe. Excellent. You will go on the bench. Um, so, let me check. Play area. You have no other Pokemon. That's great news, because you're about to die. <laughs> I win! Epic comeback! Yeah, I'm learning. <laughs> that was this great. game is actually very, very fun. I'm, I'm having a good time. D wow, that doubled damage due to weakness. Mm -hmm. I see. I oh, Charmander, sweet. That would have been handy earlier, but you know what? It's fine. You lose. Decision has been made. Victory goes to me. Yay! Congratulations. I'm, I'm actually having a good time. This is pretty good. I can't believe I could lose. Oh, I got a booster pack. So what do I get in the pack? Cypher, oh wow. That's a that's a basic card, right? Yeah, level yep. 25, that's pretty good for a basic card. Um, there's Goldie as well. There's <laughs> More Arcanines. Yeah. That's how Pikachu's, uh, Grass Energies. So what does Pokeball do? And you may search your deck for any basic Pokemon or evolution card. Oh, that's pretty handy. That is pretty handy. Hmm, interesting. Mm -hmm. I think in terms of like deck building, it's something I'll do off camera and just be like, okay, here's what I got because it will take time, and I don't know if anyone wants to watch <laughs> that. But it's uh, it's interesting how much you can do, and I appreciate we got Professor Oak cards and we got we got an Abra and grass and it's neat. All right, well. I guess that will end the first video. It, we did we did a lot of learning and a, and a single battle, but you know what? Game's pretty fun so far. So it's it's gonna. Well, I'm be really a, happy to see that you're enjoying it. Yeah, it's gonna be an interesting playthrough. I don't know if I'm gonna do well all the time, but it's gonna be interesting nevertheless. So until next time, check out Andrew's Patreon. He has one now. It's very exciting. <laughs> Finally. Yes. And if not, check out my channel too, please. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. He, he does really cool videos on everything and anything gaming. And it's, it's good. It's good stuff. You should you should check him out.